Article 2 of the Constitution yeah. makes clear the president nominates, the Senate advises, and consents. It doesn't say, except not in election year. It would be rare for the Senate to turn the president down in an election year. 17 presidents, including five in the 20th century, successfully put justices on the court during an election year. Six Supreme Court justices have been confirmed in presidential election years. The Senate voted on seven Supreme Court nominees during election years. And a critical seat on the Supreme Court for now held hostage to presidential campaign politics. Refusing to hold a hearing on a Supreme Court nominee takes the GOP's congressional dysfunction to new lows. Just hold the hearing. <laughs> Seriously, just hold the hearing. Do you think people look at this as another one of those boots in the face to the president? Obstructionism that I am not endorsing. I think it's outrageous. What they want to say is he's got a three-year term. I mean, you were elected for four years, and you get, to, you get to nominate for four years. It is all about politics of the ugly variety. The people decided in 2012 who was going to nominate Supreme Court justices between January of 2013 and January of, of, of 2017. These people were elected, and they're paid by United States Treasury to to do their job and now they're saying we're not going to do our job the u.s senate should do their job they show up day in and day out and they get a paycheck they should do their job and vote it up or down i thought the american people decided to put president obama in the white house and that the constitution says now the president decides what name to send to them and they decide whether to vote yes or no what, what did i get wrong there